Formula One teams are increasingly choosing to blacken parts of their car. A largely black car is basically lighter than a car adorned in the team's colours. And that is for two specific reasons. I'm Ollie Wilson for GP Fans, and this is why black is better on Formula One cars. Although Formula One is one of the most technical sports in the world, in the end, it's all about one thing going around the track as fast as possible. To achieve this, the cars are developed in such a way that they have more and more speed, aerodynamics and grip. But this also has a downside. The cars are getting bigger and heavier. For example, the Formula One cars of 2023 are about 5.5 meters long and almost two meters wide. That's longer and wider than the average family car. This growth has several reasons. For example, the cars have become larger over the years because of the added safety systems, but motor parts such as the power source also take up more and more space. The disadvantage of this is that Formula One cars are getting heavier and heavier. Last season, the minimum weight of the car, just like this year, was no less than 798 kilos. You would think it should be possible, but with the exception of Alfa Romeo, not one of the teams managed to reach this lower limit. According to Max Verstappen, Red Bull Racing was almost 10 kilos above it, for example. Now that may not seem like much, but those few kilos can add up to the few tenths of a second that can be the difference in taking pole position on a Saturday and a victory on a Sunday. The teams are therefore desperately looking for ways to reduce the weight of the car without sacrificing performance or reliability, and that is why, especially this season, Formula One cars are getting blacker. A largely black Formula One car has a major advantage. First, black paint is the lightest paint on a car. A litre of black paint weighs around 950 grams, while a litre of white paint, for example, weighs around 1500 grams. Light colours such as orange and yellow are also heavier than black. In addition, the black parts that you see on a Formula One car are sometimes not painted at all. The black you see is often the colour of the unpainted carbon, the material with which the cars are built. Now that logically means even more weight saving. At Alfa Romeo and Red Bull, for example, you can clearly see this season that many more parts are not painted but simply have the black carbon colour. The team that has taken this perhaps to the extreme is Mercedes this season. They have chosen to wrap the W14 in a completely black livery. The upper part of the nose and the engine cover are painted black, but almost all parts on the underside of the car are not painted at all. During the presentation of the car, team boss Toto Wolf made no secret of the fact that this, unlike the 2020 and 21 car, where the black livery was a statement for more diversity, was done to save weight. So in 2023, blacker is better and potentially faster for teams on the Formula One grid. Do you like the lack of paint on some of this year's cars? Who's made the best design with flashes of black on it? Let us know in the comments section below gpfans.com for all the latest news in F1 and GP Fans Global across social media.